All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we're starting up tonight with Alpha 3, and I have to pick Dalsim. The problem is I don't know how to play with Dalsim in Alpha 3. He's different in every game he's in, and I really don't know his move properties or anything. I do know that he's a great character, but damned if I know how to use him in this. I have no clue. What the? Wow. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. Wow. He uppercut the drill perfectly. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing, and Akuma's the best character in the game. V, is Akuma is the best character in this game. There's no debate about it. Oh, medium punch beat him. Medium punch stuffed him. I didn't do that. I tried to jump back. I didn't get it. Oh, I slid into the fireball. It was a good attempt for having no clue what the hell I was doing. <laughs> it was a pretty good attempt. And he's picking the best care overall the best character in the game right there. Uh, Spawn Killer took me $2. So when did you start to see the downward spiral of arcades? Honestly, I missed it. Because here's what happened. Arcades were huge in the 90s when I was heavily into, into Street Fighter, okay? And even for some extent... The early 2000s, like 2000, like maybe 2003, 2004, arcades were actually getting by on old fighting games and or games like Tekken and stuff like that. Even though Street Fighter basically was retired after Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and Capcom vs. SNK 2, they had no new Street Fighter games for the greater part of a decade until Street Fighter 4 came out in 2008, 2009. Um... There was enough fighting games out there that competitive people wanted to still go to arcades and play the games in arcades. Um, because, and also, let's face it, the console ports of the games weren't exactly perfect, and people had issue with that. So they wanted to play the best version, so they would still go to arcades if they were available in their area. So video arcades would actually succeed on a mix of street, old school Street Fighter games, all right? Tekken and other newer 3D fighters that consistently were putting out new iterations. Also, the Bomani games were huge. The, the music games, the guitar, or you press the buttons, the DJ hero and stuff like that. And also the dancing, like Dance Dance Revolution and stuff like that were huge in the, the round early to mid-2000s. To, to, to mid so, arcades were still getting by during that time. It wasn't until probably around 2005 that I started to see a major decline in arcades where there had been no new Street Fighter phenomena to bring people to arcades arcades anymore everyone was playing games at home now and except for games like the Bomani games and the dancing games where you needed that equipment and you couldn't just emulate that at home there was really no reason to go to the arcades anymore to play video games it was more just like ticket redemption and stuff like that and the thing is about that then rock band came out and once rock band came out you could do the music games at home that was pretty much the end of it guitar hero rock band kind of almost ended the whole arcade thing but I was not actively going to arcades anymore. I was mostly playing Street Fighter at home and or going to people's houses and playing on console and traveling to play in tournaments. Around 2005 is when I started doing that. Um, I basically stopped going to arcades consistently around the mid-2000s. So I didn't really see the effect. I didn't see the monstrous decline of the arcades. And actually, it wasn't until 
I'd say probably around 2008, 2009, that all of a sudden all the arcades closed in Connecticut. They just all disappeared in like a year's time. It's really unfortunate. But it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. They were they were a, a blip in time. They were very popular when they were there, but now consoles are basically take over for everything. So Spartan King Series, how many games are you counting down tomorrow? Same numbers your best games on Monday? No. No. I'm not gonna spoil, but I'm gonna tell you that there's gonna be different numbers of games for the two counters. I'm also going to have some honorable mentions. Games that, for one reason or another, I'm not able to actually include them in the official countdown. But I do want them to be ca uh, called out during the, the, the year-end uh, series. Sparring King Chase, and now they charge fucking $3 a swipe of an arcade card like David Buster. Yeah, it's the thing. Back then, it used to be a quarter, and or then they upgraded it to 50 cents. All right? And then, of course, there were tokens. When you went to the arcade and got tokens, you get discounts. You spent, like, five bucks. They'd give you, like, enough for quarters, but also, like, a few bonus tokens or whatever. Um, and it was always like that. All the 90s and first half of the 2000s, that's how it was. Um, and then, all of a sudden, you're right. The only places left are, like, Dave and Buster's, and they charge dollars, entire dollars or more to play a game. Like, you said, three dollars a swipe to fucking play a video game. Pretty crazy. Westside filled at 100 bit cheers. You should host an old school arcade party at the house and invite homies over. Fuck no, I would never do that. Fuck no. Not in my house. <laughs> Keep that shit out of here. Alpha 3 again? Jesus, really? Well, I'm gonna pick Dial Steam again and lose. Oh, you picked Gen. Gen has the two different fighting styles. What the hell? I didn't block, I tried. Wow, let me cross me up from that distance. I can't, dude, I can't fucking get it to hit, yeah. I think we can really pick Ganis because that yeah, upkick seems to be all the drills. And I don't know anything about this, I never played with Dal Sim in this before. Whoa! What the hell? Level 3 super is terrible. <laughs> it's really bad. Jump and block everything I do, which is bullshit. Wow, did you see that? It went right through his body. I hit them. It's so weird. It seems like if you hit them with a drill or a headbutt in this game, you don't have frame advantage. They can recover before you and throw you or hit you. Because every time I was hitting him with a drill or a headbutt, he would just mash low punches and it would hit me. I couldn't do anything about it. So, it's again, he doesn't play anything like Dalsim in the other games. you got to learn the whole fucking game over. That's why I hate this game. It doesn't play like other Street Fighters. They completely made a game that's not like Street Fighter at all. And it's a gimmick fest. And I need to learn every gimmick in order to win. Like, if I remember correctly, I should have air thrown a million times because the air throw beats, like, everything. I totally forgot about that. 
What's up, Phil Cheers? So you hear Robin Hood limited people to two shares of GameStop? I already talked about that yesterday. I linked on the free stream. You're way outdated there, Westside Phil. Like, really? <laughs> You're really outdated on the info. Uh, I had in-depth discussions about that yesterday and today, actually. Today I talked about how the CEO of Robin Hood got destroyed by Chris Cuomo, who is a journalist at CNBC. He basically made him like a complete asshole. doing any special moves. Oh, they finally did one. I think he was trying to get them out the whole time. They wouldn't come out. <laughs> yeah, solo leading this week. He couldn't do anything. <clears throat> Fucking Goji thinks he's in here already. Oh, look. I can't even ready up. Oh, wait. It's not my turn. Never mind. <sighs> I thought it was my turn. For some reason, it's not. <laughs> Great. Fucking Goji thinks. Cat, Cat is good. Uh, she's at work tonight. Hello, hater, babe. Good evening. What is I feel true again? So what did Cat serve for dinner? She didn't serve anything. We had leftover uh, taco soup, which she had made on Wednesday, and it was just as good. Seriously, it was just as good as Wednesday. It tasted really good, even as like a, like a leftovers. So we're definitely going to be making that one again. It's such a great fucking uh, great freaking meal. broken that was she did level three super akuma did jab sure you can it had so many invincibility frames it passed up into the air only got hit once by the super and then he just landed safely the whole level three super was a complete waste of fucking time what a what a pain in the ass uh west side field cheese how did she make it you mean the taco soup uh she combined a ton of different uh, really good ingredients yeah, two, two kinds of beans uh jalapeno peppers red peppers uh tomatoes uh, ground beef that was seasoned and then she create, co combined a bunch of seasonings like chili powder and stuff like that You slow cook it in the slow cooker for like four hours. It came out really really good uh, FBG duck has done it to be a dollar. So I'll be holding six shares of GameStop until it at least hits a thousand Look at that. He just fucking rage quit or something. I don't know what happened there Or until every hedge fund is bankrupt. All right. Well FBG duck. Good luck with that <laughs> Good luck with that What did he pick? I wasn't paying any attention all right, I'm not going to fucking pick Dal Sim this. Well, I'll pick him one more time. I'll pick Dal Sim one more time. And after that, I'll do just something different. Who do you pick? He got Akuma again? Jesus Christ. Hitboxes are so crazy in this game. It, 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 most of the time, he'll trade or beat you. No matter what you're even trying to do, he'll trade or beat you. That was air throw. Didn't fucking work for some reason. I couldn't do anything. 
I can't, I can't do nothing. It doesn't work. Just look at this. Everything I do is so delayed, there's no point in even trying. He's like, fuck this. Alright, I'm not picking him anymore. There's no point. Spawn Killer took me a dollar. What's your favorite arcade stories? Mine is when someone went and tried to hide in the ceiling. I just told that story recently, so I'm not going to tell that one again. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think, you know, what other arcade stories are there. I really... Really, you know, it was just a, weird, a bunch of weirdos a lot of the times. A lot of normal people just playing games and having fun. And you get a weirdo who comes and, like... When he gets so excited about he thinks he's, he's good at a game, he humps the cabinet. I'm not even kidding. Like, there was this, this guy, this Hispanic guy, and I can't remember his name, but he would get so overexcited when he, like, won a match, he would literally start, like, thumping the cabinet with his balls. I don't know why, but he would do that, and people would be like, okay. He just loved it. <laughs> he fucking loved doing it. Uh, Westside Phil cheers. If I hit the tip skull, you should dump the money into Doge so we all make money. <laughs> no, I don't think I, I'm not doing anything. I'll tell you exactly what the money's going to do. It's going to go to my bank account. It's going to sit there and it's going to pay bills. Because, like I said, I am completely strapped for cash right now. Completely, 100%. Because of all the stuff that I had to just pay that was like really high out of nowhere. But it happens. Nothing you could do. And. The thing is, this month, January is historically always the absolute worst month for ad revenue on YouTube. On January, there are no advertisers because all the advertisers basically blew their budget for the har the hardcore gaming season and or the busy Christmas shopping season. And once January comes, there's like no ads to go around. So my ad revenue just... It, the good news is it's not like it used to be. When I was a full-time YouTuber, oh my God, January was terrible. Luckily for me, I've diversified myself. And now it's mostly Twitch and a little bit of YouTube, okay? But... It was hilarious. I just, I was curious. And I wanted to look at YouTube to see how I did this last month. It said, you were down 1% of viewers. Only 1%. So, between December and January, 1% less views. So, it means I'm consistent. You made 50% less money. I'm not kidding. This is it. You made 50% less money because they don't know how to sell ad space in January. So, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, but thank God... It's not like, it used to be world breaking. Like, I remember in January, I used to come to you guys and be like, oh my god, I really need help because I'm not making any money this month even though I busted my ass and I put out a bunch of great videos. Um, but that's still going to affect me. You know, it is. It'll you know, come when I get paid in February. When YouTube pays me half of what they usually do, it's going to be like, oh boy, it's going to be tight. So, what's I feel cheese that we got to push Doge into a dollar? Yeah, again, I, I'm not investing. I have no money to invest. I really wish that I had the disposable income to invest. I have no money. <laughs> okay. What was the last bill I failed to pay? Like, outright failed to pay, couldn't pay it because I didn't have enough money? Uh, it was definitely early, early last year. Before, no, actually, I'm trying to remember exactly when it was because sometimes that was, um, that was, like, right... No, I can't remember now. I, I want to say it was 2019, actually. I want to say it was 2019. But I'm not 100% on that. I think it was 2019. Okay, so third strike. I've been destructed. Again, the viewers want me to see you play Sean. I don't know how the fuck to play with Sean. So, uh, this should be great. Another loss for me. <laughs> All night tonight, just picking the characters you want me to play. I don't know how to use them. What the hell? Who's gonna come out? Oh my god, I almost got a perfect on this fucking guy. Holy shit. Fighters ready. Engage. That was super. That was super. Jesus. Ugh. Well, fucking troll is back. Even those person's been banned ten times. They're back again somehow. They just keep making more fucking clone accounts because they're assholes. So fuck them. Okay. Alpha 3. I'm not picking Dalsim this time. Fuck that. 
Ooh. Ooh. Uh, wow, excuse me. I'm gonna try Rose. I'm gonna play with her in a bit. Jesus Christ! Completely overwhelmed. Completely overwhelmed there. Not what I did. Oh my god, I'm trying to get a little too super. Got it. It wouldn't do it for me. It's trying. Am I going to check out the, the game Put Outlaws and Legends when it comes out? I don't know anything about that. What is that game? That was super. Wow, I can't get my lightning legs to come out. That's pretty bad that I can't get lightning legs to come out. That means it's dropping half the inputs I'm pushing. Wow, it really is dropping half my inputs. Terrible. for the trick. <laughs> this guy is not readying up. Apparently he's not paying attention. Third strike. Alright. Well, something can show on again. Bouncing the ball. Engage. Oh my god, seriously? Standing kick just stopped it. Are you ready? Okay then. Go. Not what I wanted. I did super there. That was super game. You can even see me doing it. Wow, I can't get super. Oh my god, he pushed through the basketball, he killed me. God damn it. What the hell? Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. <laughs> I can get my super out. Yes. There we go. Locked down. All right. Oh yeah. 
A man from Japan cheered and says I should get rid of 50-bit cheers so that we can get rid of 50-bit bitches. Yes, but you just cheered. You just did a 50-bit cheer. <laughs> you did a 50-bit cheer and asked to get rid of 50-bit cheers. Is that a little counterproductive? Or is that a little uh, hypocritical there? I'm just saying. It's kind of weird. Okay. I stuffed my anti-air kick with the right angle of a uh, roundhouse. He didn't intend to do that. He didn't know that happens. <laughs> Albert Aponte took me $2.33, which actually is the biggest tip of the night. He says, how's your health? I hope everything is good. Uh, yeah, everything's fine, Alfred. Thank you for the tip. Biggest tip of the night, and I appreciate that. Good to see you. I've already had enough of Chun-Li. Maybe I'll pick one more match with Chun-Li and I'll switch it up. He picked Guile. He did. One more match with Chun-Li. I have to pick Minty Hawk as well tonight, but I figure I'll get the Chun-Li matches in first. That is not what I did. I pressed punch and give me a kick. Lighting leg, you motherfucker. Trumps right over, just tossed him. Oh, I'm here for Japan cheese. So, whatever happened, we're going to the doctor. It got rescheduled. Fucking appointment got rescheduled. Yeah, I'm not. I, I still haven't gone. Now it's, I gotta wait another two months. I'm serious. I gotta wait till March now. So I gotta wait till fucking March to go to the doctor. Isn't that nice? Okay. Uh, Minty Hawk. See me? I'd be, I'd be pissed, but it's not a big deal only because um nothing's going on with my ears right now, and with nothing going on with my ears. You know, it would be one thing if like I had another ear infection. It was I was in desperate need, but at this point, like, I get the feeling this guy's not gonna do anything for me anyway. He's gonna say, "Oh, you don't have an infection now," so I don't know what it is. So, he's gonna say, "Okay, don't wear headphones anymore." Westside Phil Cheese, what kind of medical insurance do you have? Uh, I have an independent insurance that I pay for myself. I don't have it through any company or anything because I'm an independent contractor. I'm not telling the brand or anything like that. That'd be very fucking stupid. With the amount of people fuck with me, they'll try to try to. Try to log into the website and shit. As me, I'm not gonna fucking deal with that shit, so. Boom. Oh my god, destroyed. <clears throat> what? This just TJ Gamebox is in the same faction as you in WWE. Now, wait a minute. Here we go again. Are you gonna fucking be a troll ass dickhead and start talking about. You weren't. You were saying things. That were, that were, like, legit questions. And now you're fucking talking about the stupid... Stupid attractor me with this fucking game that I don't play. I'm tired of this shit. Really, I don't want to talk about this fucking stupid shit that's not true. Do you really... I mean, obviously now you want me to ban you. It's like, do I even want to w waste my time leaning forward to the laptop to ban your dumb fuck ass? God, you're stupid. Ugh. That 
was 360. That was, there we go. God damn it. 360. Jesus, did you see that damage? That was a lot of damage for Minty Hawk right there. Oh my god. Is this guy a man from Japan? Uh. King Goken. Please ban him, you fucking idiot. I'm gonna try Sean one more time. How the fuck did that miss? What? I fucking did super. I got that. Oh my. That was the ultimate mashing right there. That was seriously the ultimate mash. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. He kept stuffing me. Everything I did, he stuffed because Sean sucks in this game. All his normals are terrible priority. That was super. It would have hit for full damage. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Harper, what's going on, man? Thank you for the 100-bit cheer. This is first time cheering. I didn't know how to message it. <laughs> anyway, good luck on the fights. Thank you, Harper. Yeah, you gotta type it during the cheer. You have to type your message, I guess. Unlike tipping, where it gives you a big space to put out your, uh, your message and everything. Thank you for the cheer. Although, tonight, everyone, please, if you can, please tip me. I really need help with tips badly right now. So if you can tip me, I would appreciate it. It would be great if we get the vest tonight, but... I don't know, so far, half an hour in, and uh, we are at a whopping $6 in tips, so I'm not so sure that's going to happen. <sighs> All right, uh, one more with Sean. Fuck it, and then after that, I'll switch it up. Okay. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. He's stunned. Didn't kill him? Wow! I kept whiffing. He's got such weird hitboxes. Prepare to strike now. Shit. Oh my god! Well, I still hit him. <laughs> Wow, it killed him. It killed him. Damn. You win. Hello, Jasper Kitty. Here comes Jasper. Hello, buddy. Are you asleep downstairs? He was asleep on the couch. Yes, he was. All right. A little more Minty Hawk, but then we'll mix it up after that. Destroying everyone with Minty Hawk. But Cyphil Chu says, GSP versus McGregor. Let's make it happen. Oh, yeah. Definitely. He versus Conor McGregor. Makes us, or maybe even Old Man McGregor, a farmer or something. Was it like Farmer McGregor that Peter Rabbit kept stealing uh, carrots from? That was 360. That's what the game gives me. Jab. Jasper, how am I supposed to play when you're in front of the TV? Jasper Kitty! 
Well, I'm gonna lose, I can't see. Oh my god! Jasper Kitty, come on, get down, you're blocking the TVs. Get down! Jasper Kitty, get down right now, come on! You gotta see the freaking game. Yeesh. Oh my god. A dizzy. A dizzy. Very nice. Oh, no 360. Jasper, come on. You got to throw the TV again. Jasper, get down. Jasper, get down. Jasper, that's it. Get down now. Get down. Stop blocking the goddamn TV. Stop that. Why are you being mean? Being a mean cat. Stop that right now. Jeez. Jasper, don't you dare. Do not go up there again. Oh my god. I can't believe I won that when he jumped in front of the TV twice. <laughs> I can't I seriously can't believe I won that. Alright, looks like I got a couple tips, but I do need to take a look at them to verify that they're real. I haven't been verifying tips tonight, which is not a good thing. I should have been doing that all along, so. Alright, I'm gonna mix it up now. Who do I wanna play here? We got Balrog, huh? Who do I want against Balrog? Fuck, I'll pick Fei Long. Oh my god! I can't get it. It won't do it. Finally. Uh-oh. One, two, three, four. Oh my god, he got dizzy and full super in the face. Oh my god. Got it to combo. Medium punch into super. Damn. Good shit. Good shit. So I received two tips, but sadly, neither of them shows up as verified. Now, one of them I trust. Because, Harper, I trust you because you've tipped me many times before. Um, however, I received a tip from Jaborist1. Jaborist1, are you here tonight? Can you confirm this is really you? You're, just so you know, your PayPal account is not verified. And therefore, I'm, I really should not accept this tip. But if you're here and you verify it's from you and you're, you, I can see that you, you know, you're a, a regular viewer, then maybe I will accept it. There he is, and he's a freaking three-month sub, so I guess I will, I will trust it then. Thank you, Jaboris, one for the tip. If you could verify your PayPal accounts, I would appreciate that. Oh, that's right. This one you can only do the drill at the very top. Jasper, Jasper, kitty, he's attacking the characters on the screen. He is. He's pawing. Them. Jasper, come on, man. This is ridiculous now. I can't see again. Jasper, come on. He's, I got. He wanted to kick him out of the office. Jasper, why are you not listening? He's ignoring me. He's staring at the screen and ignoring me. I'm dizzy. He hit me once. One hurricane kick. Oh my god. Oh my god, I beat him badly with Dalsim. I don't even know what I'm doing. Jasper. Jasper, stop ignoring me. You know I'm calling you. Get down. Get out of here. Come on. Get down. You're being a bad kitty. Being a bad kitty tonight blocking the TV, man. Oh my god. Seriously. So I got a lot of shoutouts to do, and I just don't have time because 
I would love to do them and update the leaderboard, but I gotta keep playing, and Jasper keeps distracting me. <laughs> oh my god. Now stay there. If you stay there on the floor, that's fine. You lay cutely on the floor now. You're gonna relax on the floor. That's okay, man. Just don't block the goddamn TV. I'm picking Zangief. Oh. Not what I wanted. Oh my god, no 360. Jasper, no! He did it again! That's it, I'm throwing him out. Jasper, you're out of here. You're out of here. I told you no. I told you no. Don't listen. Now you're out of here. Now you're not coming back. I'm sorry. That was oh my god. It's like the 10th goddamn time he jumped in front of the TV. He's never done it that many times in one night. He's never done it that many times in one night. Whoa, trade. The cannon drill traded with a sweep. Wow. Ugh. Hey, look, when I concentrate, I can win. <laughs> when I actually concentrate, I can win. Oh. All right. So, thank you to Harper and Jaboris1 for these tips. Jaboris1 tipped me $5. I keep winning. You're doing great. Now, Harper tipped me $20. said he's still trying to verify his account. He promised he will do it for future tips. Uh, love the channel. Always a good time watching the stream. All right. I appreciate that. And I'm going to try to get you up on the leaderboard if I have time, but these matches start so fucking quick. There's really, like, no time to even update the leaderboard. So $25 of tips is up to $31 of tips right now, guys. Thank you. I appreciate that. I got the incorrect color, and I'm very upset. If I don't get my correct color of Zangief, I miss all my moves. Never mind, I got it. <laughs> I got it right away. Oh shit. That was 360. Yes. <laughs> he did a random flash kick and got splashed in the face. No, I didn't throw or hurt my cat. I picked him up and I placed him down in the hallway. And he was very upset because, oh, you kicked me out. You can tell. Like, yeah, he's, being, he's basically being a brat cat tonight. He wants all my attention. And it, what's weird is, he didn't come in here earlier. He was asleep. And I didn't, I didn't wake him up or disturb him because I wanted him to get a nice nap downstairs. He always takes an afternoon nap after dinner. When we eat, he takes like a two-hour nap. So I didn't want to disturb him. I was being all nice to him. And he has to come in here and jump in front of the TV ten times. All right, so, Tendies and Juice Cheers said, did Jasper ever cause you to lose in a video game? Yes, he's caused me during these streams to lose. Westside Phil says, who went Jasper is an old-fashioned ass whooping. He doesn't need an ass whooping. He just needs to listen. Like, I don't mind if he jumps from the TV once. It's cute. When I tell him 10 times stop and he keeps doing it, it's like, dude, like, you know not to do it. I've only told you 10 times. Even an animal knows after being told 10 times he's not supposed to do it. He's just doing it to get attention, basically. Okay. Oh, uh, they cheered again. He said, I cheered 500 bits. Can you update the leaderboard? Oh, I didn't even see it, Westside Phil. I'm going to have to look. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm massively behind on contributions now. Uh, I, I basically have to lose to update the leaderboard, I think. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. This is complete destruction. Let's see if he really is the top cheerer. Yes, he did do a 500-bit cheer. I do have to get him on the leaderboard here. This guy doesn't block at all. I don't know why he doesn't block, but he got destroyed as soon as I started paying attention again. I don't even know if that's how you spell your name, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. 
So that was a 500-bit cheer, and indeed you are the top cheer of the night. Thank you, Westside Phil. Uh, oh my god, excuse me. <clears throat> I want to play with, uh, with Bison, Purple Pimp Bison. All right, I don't have any time for shoutouts. There's a bunch of shout things that came in. I don't have time. Lag city right now. No one's blocking. No one is blocking tonight. I don't know what's going on. Of our god, did two cheers? Did I ever get into a physical altercation in an arcade? No, I never fought in an arcade. No, then he cheered again. So he was looking to a school or trainer to correct Jasper's behavior. So now I know who you are. You're the same person who said that a million times. All right, two more tips came in, but I have to I have to confirm that they are who they say they are. So give me a second here, everybody. Third strike. All right, who do I want to play here? Uh, it was a terrible pick against uh against them. All right, so these tips are legit. So I have to shout them out after this match. Ass. Oh my god. Boom. I forgot there's a joke you could do in the corner. I think you can do that and clap and then you do the air throw. I forget how it works. But I know there's one you can juggle and then do the air throw after in the corner, but I forgot what it is. I used to know it. Oh my god, I didn't carry that. Oh my god! With Super 360 work. I can't believe that work. So Big Baba Phil to me, $15, said, what do you think of combat mechanics and fighting games like Ultras in Street Fighter 4, V-Trigger in Street Fighter 5, and games like Street Fighter Alpha that give the loser around one a damage boost? I got home and I'm ready to enjoy the stream. I don't like comeback mechanics. In general, X-Factor was actually the worst one, in my opinion, in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. It was incredibly unbalanced, in my opinion. Um, I think it just broke the game. Um, there's some things that can work that aren't as bad. Like, I don't feel the Ultras or the V-Trigger in Street Fighter V are necessarily comeback mechanics. They're just another super that you can utilize during a fight. I don't feel that it's, like, a necessarily a really bad, unbalanced comeback mechanic. Um, but definitely things like X-Factor 100% is a, a broken-ass, unbalanced comeback mechanic. So it all depends on the mechanic itself. Oh. I don't want that shit. I parried both hits and couldn't hit out the way of that. That's it. That's it. I'm way behind on shoutouts here. Engage. Oh my god, I whiffed twice. Oh, that was super. Oh! Yes! That's what I wanted. Woo! Parry that shit. Boom! Oh my god! 
Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Perfect parry into perfect pa punish. Sir Spartan King tipped me two dollars. Thank you, Spartan King, for the two dollar tip. That will jump us to forty-eight dollars in tips so far. Thank you guys for the support tonight. I appreciate it. Roosh did 100 bit cheers. Did you give Wings of Redemption another shout out to the myth, the legend Wings? No, that's not what I said. I said shout out to the man, the myth, and the legend Wings of Redemption. That's what I said earlier today. What you just said is not even close to being correct. Way off. Oh my god. Oh my god. So this is why I don't want to play Goji Tanks. I can't parry a single thing. I can't. I can't block, parry. I can't do anything. His connection is so bad, I can't do anything. I can't time anything because it's all monster delay. So he can just rush forward to 100 attacks. I can't guard against him because the, the, his connection is complete shit. Look at this. I don't want to play this guy. I can't do anything. Everything I'm doing is coming out half a second later. I can't react to anything he does at all. Look at this. Yeah, I give up. I can't do anything. It's like he could just keep walking forward and pressing buttons. I can't do anything about any of it. I can't. It's impossible to do anything about it because his connection is such garbage. So now I've been in this room for the past half an hour having fun. I can't play in the room anymore because the shithead with the terrible connection went in there and ruined it. Nothing I can do. And I'll, 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 uh, any match I, I play against him, I could beat him in third strike. I've done it many times. It's, it's boring. I can't play a real match in third strike against him because he lags so bad. So he ruins the whole lobby with his terrible fucking connection and he stalks me because he's a fucking loser. Uh, Tennies and Juice cheered. Yes, I already told you I could confirm. Jasper is fine. He did not get hurt. All I had to do was pick him up and put him outside. There's nothing I can do about it. Okay? He was just basically, uh, you know, not, uh, not listening. Nothing I can do about it. Uh, River City Chosen One, resubscribe for 18 months, and all endings are also beginnings. There you go. That is true. Thank you for the support. Uh, Denny's and Juice said, what a Jasper's detractor. He's not a detractor. He's just an attention-seeking young cat. Greatest of our God, she said, do you think Jasper could be deaf? Most cats understand the English language. No, he listens. Here's the thing. If he's somewhere he's not supposed to be, he will listen to me. The problem is he didn't care tonight. He just wanted so much attention. He figured the only way I can get Phil's attention when he's playing Street Fighter, when I have this joystick on my lap, he goes, the only way he'll get my attention is by keep jumping in front of the TV. You know? He, he knows what he's doing. It's not like, you say, oh, he's misbehaving. No, actually, he's not purposely misbehaving just to misbehave. He's misbehaving because he wants my attention. If I was just sitting here petting him all night, he wouldn't jump in front of the TV. But I'm not going to sit here and give him attention constantly all night long. I got to have time to work, you know? I try my best to be nice to him and to be fair. You know, it's just like being a parent. Of course, it's not like being a parent to a kid because you can't necessarily reason with a cat because the cat is not like a human. Um, you know, later, later on, I'll give him pets and I'll make him feel loved and I'll make him feel better because right now he's probably upset that I threw him out of the office. But what can you do, right? <clears throat> okay. Um... Greatest of our God choose to keep it up. One day you'll beat Goji Tanks. I'll believe in you. I've beaten him many, many, many a time. It's just not fun playing him because I can't play the game like you're supposed to. You have to play it like a fucking insane lag fest. And it's just super duper unfun. I hate playing that fucking guy because his connection is so bad. What's up, Phil Chooser? Do you give your wife a kiss goodbye when she goes to work? Yes. Why wouldn't I do that? Of course I do. I always do. I always make sure. Because here's the thing. All right. God forbid, obviously. And knock on wood, it doesn't happen. But you never know when the worst can happen. When it's the last time you're going to see someone. So if you're in a relationship with someone, you always kiss them goodbye and say, I love you very much. You know, please be safe. That's exactly what I tell her when she leaves. I say, please do your best to be safe tonight. And I, I can't wait to see you later tonight when you get home. You know, and, um, you know, God forbid, you know, it's terrible, terrible to think about it. But you got to do that because what's going to happen? What if the worst happens? And you're like, I never even got to say goodbye to that person. Right. <clears throat> OK, um, so let's see here. Relatable movie quotes is cheering, saying, do I feel in charge? I paid you a small fortune. This gives you power over me. I don't even know what this is. Some movie quote. I don't even know what it is. Anyway, thanks for the cheer. Uh, Tenny's a juice cheer. He said, do you try to teach Jasper things? For Well, Jasper basically learns uh, in an interesting way. The way that he learns is through reinforcement. 
Both negatives and positive reinforcement. In general, cats will learn better through via positive reinforcement than negative reinforcement. So if he does something good, you give him a treat. If he, if, if we're doing something in the house, like if we're cleaning the house, and he doesn't bother us when we're cleaning, immediately after, you give him a treat. That way he knows, oh, I did a good thing. I left them alone while they were doing the cleaning, the vacuuming or whatever. I didn't run in the way. I didn't bother them. And now I get rewarded because I was a good kitty. You see, that's how you're supposed to train an animal with positive reinforcement. Negative reinforcement doesn't work with cats in particular. Like, for example, spraying him constantly with this water bottle. I only do that. I only spray him if he's going to hurt himself. So if I saw him actually biting a wire, I was, oh, God, I got to do this to get him to run away because he's going to hurt himself. He's going to electrocute himself. But this only works... In certain situations and long term usually doesn't work if you just keep giving negative reinforcement to your pet or your cat in particular the cat will actually just learn to either hate or fear you rather than do the right things for the right reasons you want a cat to be motivated to do the right thing by give rewarding it rather than telling it don't do the wrong thing by punishing it you see what i'm saying with humans it could be different with humans you could try both techniques but with a cat you're supposed to be doing positive reinforcement so See, this kind of sucks because, like, today he was bad, so now I can't reward him tonight. But if he was a good kitty tonight and didn't do anything bad in here, I would have rewarded him when we went downstairs. I would have given him, like, a little kitty treat or something. But it is what it is. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Jax Raxer has tipped me $52. Thank you, Jax Raxer. He says, tax season sucks. I get a refund every year, but thanks to the IRS delaying start of processing returns to February 11th, I'm getting it later this year. Nonetheless, I hope this tip helps with your tax situation and join the matches so far. Thank you. My situation is that... Um, I had to pay a bunch of taxes now, my quarterly taxes plus, well, it was the federal taxes that I had to, I pay monthly, but then I had to pay my quarterly state taxes. And then there's these other really annoying things that just, that's come up in January. I'm not going to go through the details of, of all of it. It's just, it's fucking has nothing to do with my streams, but it's annoying because every January I end up having to unload a ton of money and then I'm broke and it always happens. And the worst thing is, like I said, ad revenue goes down in January. So when I'm trying, when I'm the brokest pretty much of the year, which is January, then I make le let it less than I usually do <laughs> on top of that. And there's nothing you can do about it. So thank you very much, Jax Raxer. You've l let us hit the tips goal. That means we can do a vest poll. And in fact, what I'm going to do now, since I'm going to be wearing a vest, I'm going to open the window further because I know I'm going to be hot once I put on a vest. So let me open the window further and get the shades up and everything here. All the way over, and in fact, let's see here. So I opened the door again. I'm willing to give Jasper another shot. Maybe he learned his lesson now that I had to throw him out of the office. Maybe he learned. If he comes back, maybe he won't do that again. If he does it again, definitely I got to get him out of here. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Jax Raxer, for allowing us to hit the tips goal. If we could do a poll now for the vest, I would appreciate it. So earlier today, we did the platinum vest. So that means beige... Blue, red, camo, gray would all be eligible tonight. Okay? Um, let's see here. Uh, Westside Phil. Jeez, I know you always have to refer to her as your wife. Why don't you say her name? Just curious. I say cat all the time. I say cat. I say my wife because here's the thing. If I just say cat constantly, there may be people who don't know who I'm talking about. Right? And you hear, if you just hear the word cat, you think, am I talking about my wife or am I talking about my cat? Versus if I say my wife, now you know exactly who I'm talking about, right? <laughs> okay. Um, the cat trainer... Oh, here we go. The cat trainer uh, cheered and says, You watch too many movies. People don't spray their cats with water in real life. That's cool. Yes, they do. But it's not a good thing to do. It's an emergency thing to do. If he's about to do something where he can really hurt himself, you deter him the quickest way by doing this. That's all you can do. Like right now, if I'm in here and he comes in here and starts chewing on a wire over there, what am I going to do? How would I jump up and stop him? No, you're going to do this, he immediately stop doing it. All right? But you only do that if it's absolutely necessary. You're not supposed to discipline your cat in a negative way like that. Okay. Um, SD Chargers123 is to be $2. And I'm getting a gum graft. It'll take a chunk off the roof of my mouth and stitch it onto receding gums. I'm terrified. What was your most uncomfortable dental procedure? Uh, I never really have had many dental procedures, actually, um, at all. Uh, I think the worst I ever had was that they had to uh, do, a, like, a filling or something, and that was when I was very young. So I really don't have much extensive experience with dental stuff. Um, but I wish you the best. Hopefully, 
it works out. Hopefully, it's not too painful and things work out for you. Uh, the cat trainer cheered. Oh, uh, here we go. Now he's talking to Jax for after about running off his tips. He's being an idiot. I'm probably just going to end up banning this fucker. Timbal Slice cheered. He said, KFC launched a crispy chicken sandwich and tried it tonight and shocked to say it's better than Popeye's. Should be one of the items you're looking to try at DSP tries for the upcoming event. You really think that that sandwich is better than Popeye's? Damn. See, Popeye's shockingly was, was so good. I didn't think it would be very good. And the Popeye sandwich was like, oh my god, that was tasting good. So, all right. Maybe that'll be a consideration for DSP tries it coming up for when we do the retrospective. Um... Hey, Tendies and Juice cheers. Like, you're married? When did that happen? Obviously, he's joking. Lies for Soul cheers. Was, was Chun Li ever your waifu? No, I did not have. There were, first of all, there was no waifus when I was a kid. The term didn't exist. No one knows what the fuck you're talking about. Back then, it was, you know, <laughs> there was none of this shit. There was none of this weird internet culture of obsessing over fantasy women constantly and acting like they're your fucking significant other. And, 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 it's just weird. It's weird. To me, it's weird to even hear you say that because I grew up in a different culture than you, okay? No. No. Absolutely not. How dare you. Okay. 